in a step towards revamping the justice system in India. Three new laws, namely the Bharatiya Nyay Sanita BNS, the Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sanita BNSSS, and the Bharatiya Sakshe Adhinayam PSA, are all set to be implemented starting July 1st. These legislations passed by the Indian Parliament will replace the Indian Penal Code IPC, Code of Criminal Procedure CRPC, and the Indian Evidence Act of 1872. What are the key changes being brought about by the, these uh, new laws, beg your pardon? Here are some important highlights. The Bharatiya Nyay Sanita BNS will take over from the 163 years old IPC, introducing modifications to the penal law. One noteworthy addition is the inclusion of community service as a punishment option under Section 4. However, specific details regarding the type of community service required are not specified. Regarding uh, offences, stricter measures have been put in place with penalties up to 10 years in prison and fines for individuals engaging in uh, sexual acts uh, by falsely promising marriage without a genuine intent. The updated law also addresses deceit encompassing false assurances related to job opportunities, promotions or, or marriage while uh, concealing one's true identity. Furthermore, organized crime now falls under uh, scrutiny and encompassing a wide range of illicit activities. These criminal acts uh, encompass a, a range of activities such as uh, uh, abduction, theft, fraud, carjacking, land seizure, contract killings, uh, financial crimes, cyber offenses and the trafficking of, of individuals drugs, uh, firearms or uh, illicit goods and services. Individuals or groups involved in, in trafficking for uh, purposes like prostitution or, or ransom will be subject to uh, penalties if found to be uh, uh, you know, part of an organized uh, crime network. Perpetrators engaging in these actions through uh, violence or coercion for gain will will face severe consequences. Regarding threats to security, the BNS intensifies uh, and strengthens the act and uh, anybody who is endangering the India's security, sovereignty, economic uh, stability with the aim of uh, instilling uh, you know, fear among the populace uh, would be punished strictly. Furthermore, uh, you know, uh, the issue with regard to violence uh, you know, stipulating, you know, that, that a group of five or more individuals, if collaborate in, in, in committing murder based on factors such as race, caste, gender, uh, identity, etc. Each member will be uh, subjected to either death penalty or life imprisonment along with fines. The Bharatiya Nagrik uh, Suraksha Sanhita, BNSSS, replaces the Criminal Procedure Code, uh, CRPC 1973. Uh, it brings about changes in, in procedural law, basically, you know. And the one key aspect of the provision uh, is with regard to that of under trial prisoners, you know, uh, who, uh, allowing uh, first-time offenders to seek bail after serving one-third of their sentence, except in cases of... Uh, life imprisonment or multiple charges making it more challenging for under trials to meet the criteria for bail. Moreover, the BNSS mandates a very important point. Compulsory forensic investigation for crimes which uh, qualify for at least seven years of imprisonment. Uh, ensuring that uh, forensic experts 
collect uh, and document evidence at crime scene. Now, in instances where the states lack forensic facility, it must utilize facility from uh, another state. Now, this new legislation introduces uh, provisions aimed at simplifying and expediting the criminal justice process in India. For example, uh, medical professionals examining rape vic victims must provide their uh, report to the to the investigating agency officer uh, within seven days. Uh, court judgments should be delivered within 30 days after the conclusion of uh, arguments. Uh, and these can be extended by another 60 days. Victims must be kept informed about the progress of investigations uh, within 90 days. Uh, session courts are required to uh, frame charges within 60 days from the date of hearing uh, on charges. The Bharatiya uh, Saksha Adhinium, BSA, uh, which replaces the Evidence Act, brings its uh, updates you know, concerning electronic evidence. This new law simplifies uh, regulations related to evidence and, and broadens the, the range of evidence. Uh, it mandates disclosure formats for uh, records being uh, beyond just affidavits. You know, the new law introduces a, a schedule to the legislation that outlines a disclosure format uh, for certificates. Uh, previously, these were covered by only affidavits and self-declarations regarding uh, the authenticity of uh, electronic uh, records. The law addresses, also addresses, beg your pardon, a gap in the Evidence Act by acknowledging uh, written admissions as uh, secondary evidence.